I got a question about Gary though. So I, I, I'm born and raised in Sacramento, and Gary died in Sacramento, right? And they ruled it as a suicide, but he had two gunshot wounds to the head. I talked to him two days before he died. I talked to him every day. I'm the one who, because I had got out on bail, so Gary came to visit me in in Compton in L.A. to get some discovery from me. So I was talk, I was friends with Gary. I talked to him all the time, because when I was first went, I didn't have no bail. So about a year and a half later, they ended up giving me a bail. So that's how I was out when that CIA dude came. Mm -hmm. Gary was with me. So when the CIA dude came, I remember giving Gary all the information. So Gary wanted to get who me and Rick was. So I'm telling this whole story. But while I'm telling this story, the newspaper article came out, not the book yet. Mm -hmm. So we was like, and I'm like, man, you're not scared for your life. I'm not scared. Like, she goes, I'm not scared, but you know, I understand. I'm like, Man, because cause I people have knocked at my door before that I'm like, who the fuck is this? Like, mm -hmm. you know, once the article came out, it was a three page article about In what LA happened. Times. No, LA Times wouldn't do it. And the San Jose Mercury News. Okay. It was a four page article talking about how this happened to us, how it shows everything. He was right on point. Mm -hmm. But the LA Times come out a week later with the same kind of four page article saying that this didn't happen. Mm. So they discredit Gary. So you talking about the LA? You talking about LA Times, Washington Post, the Washington Times, and I mean the uh, New York Times and the Washington Post discredited him. Mm -hmm. So now he looking like an idiot. Like his editor, they fired him. They sent him some fucking somewhere to do some stupid stuff. Like mm -hmm. this man is about to win awards for this writing. Right. Now they discredit this whole story. Like that he made it up. So that's pressure from the CIA. Pressure from the CIA. Like mm -hmm. they so they end up letting him go, man. Like. I'm talking to this man every day. I talk. It's, it's a conversation with me and him on the phone. And he's like, Chico, there's people on my back pole. Mm -hmm. I don't know who they are. They've been here for three, four days. Mm -hmm. Like, damn, man, be careful. Mm -hmm. So three days later, I get a call from my daddy. Did you see what happened to Gary? Mm -hmm. He shot himself twice in the head. The man told me, Chico, I'm never going to kill myself. I'm yeah. never going to do that. I talk to this man all the time. Wow. I became. I know his whole lifestyle. I know his his wife, his kids, and everything. Yeah. So he 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 received a lot of pressure from different situations, man. Like you know, this man wrote this story. He you know, and he at one time this story was getting a million hits a day. This is when the internet not even. This yeah. is when it's fresh. Right. We're talking about then. Mm -hmm. The story blew up so much. Everybody want to know about this story. I was on. on the show with Gary Webb on the t on um, Gerardo, mm -hmm. Montel Williams, and some other show because when I had when I had got out, I was only out for like three or four months, but I was doing all these shows with him. Mm -hmm. Like Gary, they like, wanted me to do the show. Like Gerardo came on there, like this is the person responsible for the whole crack old demon. Him and Freeway Rick, you know, pointed at me. At mm -hmm. first, they had a baby come across the stage that this lady sold her baby for crack. Mm -hmm. They said the person responsible for is right there, Chico Brown, and his. Crying me free where Rick is in prison for this. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm asking Gary, answer the question. Yeah. My lawyer ended up asking the question. And, and but Gary was like, Gary knew he had it right.